first thing we need to have, phone, keys, wallet, glasses. Okay, hi everyone. Okay, so for today's video, we are going shopping because I mentioned on Instagram stories that my sister helped me make salsa their day. If you don't know what that is, that's that green salsa, the spicy one that you see at like restaurants and we made like a lot. I don't know how to make it. My sister knows how to make it. Don't judge my fridge. And for today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to make it by watching me learn how to make it. We're gonna be going to probably Target. I feel like being bougie. Do you think they'll have everything there? Maybe. If they don't, we might have to. We need to go to like a Latina grocery store. Yeah, we'll take Is there any Latina grocery stores in Hollywood? We're gonna find a Latina grocery store, you guys, because we just gotta be Latina, right? Okay, come on. If you ever are in LA and you want to listen to bomb ass reggaeton music, 96.3, 96.3 para las jumps. So right now we found a little like Mexican type of grocery store, which is ideal because I also want like pan. Like I need a panaderia within the market and Target does not have a panaderia. Whole Foods, Whole Foods might have like a Caucasian panaderia, but that's different. The Mexican places don't have like the organic almond milk. They don't have that. You do not have to go to a Mexican type of grocery store to make this, but I mean, it helps to get like in the atmosphere, to get in the energy. You just kind of like need the product. So we'll be showing you what to buy so you can make your own salsa verde. You can't even call it green salsa. The whole video, you have to call it salsa verde, okay? Promise? Okay, you guys, so we made it to the North Gate Market. It's a carniceria and a panaderia. It's kind of like in Koreatown, like the outskirts of Koreatown. Oh, that site's real pretty. Look at all those palm trees over there. One thing I love about LA is all the palm trees. Look at that old lady. <laughs> just on her phone. <laughs> Don't record the old lady. <laughs> it's just having a personal conversation. I doubt they'll be kind of strict with filming. I mean, I hope not. Also, I'm Latina. What are they gonna tell me? No, la no Latina filming in here? Absolutely not. Okay, everyone. So you ready, everyone? Let's go, everyone. Okay, so this is my OOTD of the day. Hi, everyone. Sure, you can buy merch, link in bio, bands, short. This is not link in bio. I love you, bro. Being Latina. The reason why you have to come to like a Mexican marketplace is because it gives you the full Latina experience. Like, walking into it, there's already a panaderia. Like, look. Panaderia, I said I'm at a panaderia. Oh yeah, panaderia. Okay, so we're gonna get some puerquitos. <laughs> some little oink oink. It's so funny because whenever I filmed my video with Jenny, I had to teach her what a panaderia was. She's gonna fucking hate me for that. Panaderia. <laughs> no, pues wow. Wow. Okay, but we do need a concha though. They only have the white ones. The caucasity of it all. The caucasity. Oh, they got little brown ones. Oh my god, look. See, bitch. Sometimes you gotta check the back. Oh my god, la costeña. No, is la costeña my favorite? I don't feel like la costeña is my favorite. The other one, what's the other one called? La morena. La morena. Oh, my mouth on her. <laughs> this is just like, I don't know, like an essential. Smack. See, like, no, 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 no. Lo quiero perfecto. Oh, Y'all, look at all these avocados. Like, in Texas, these are so freaking expensive. Oh, all of a sudden it's your vlog? All of a sudden you're Gabriel Zamora? Yeah. Oh, okay. These are so expensive, and right here in avocado. California, they're so cheap. Two for five. <laughs> Two for five? Avocados are so expensive. <laughs> yeah. Like, I low-key want it because it has, like, two little fires. But like, have you guys noticed that like all the tahines only have one fire? Where the fuck is a four fire tahini? I want the shit to burn. You know the bitch got hikama sticks. I'm gonna get some hikama sticks and probably some like... No. No tienen pepino. So we're gonna do some duvalines, some pulparindos. Pulparindos. These are so bomb, you guys. If you've never tried Mexican candy, highly suggest these. Tomatillo con cascara. So it's basically like a green tomato, but it's spicy. Is it spicy? No. No. So you need a green tomato that's not spicy. Because usually you buy the tomatoes, you just need a green one, it comes with a little shell, you're gonna take the shell off, then you just put it in a bag. If you wanna do it for like a big family, it just, you have you need a lot. Since it's only me, and I'm single and alone, I only need 10. <laughs> These are 69 cents a pound, 
Bitch, why are avocados so expensive? But like all the sensitive stuff you want to put back here. I should do a car tour. Would you guys be down for a car tour? And done. Okay everyone, so we have everything in order. What you're gonna need is a pot. You will need a pan. If you wanna measure your water, green little tomatoes, you wanna peel off the skin and take off the stem. And then this is what it's basically gonna look like. I'm gonna do five simply because it's only really me. We're gonna have three poblano peppers and then you need a quarter of an onion and then some cilantro. This is already chopped garlic. We're gonna need some chicken flavor. And then this is a jar I got. I don't know where I got this actually. So to start off, we're gonna do these and put them in here, right? So you just wanna grab your, your little green tomatoes and you wanna put them where the stem comes off from, face down. There's a little bit of olive oil like sprayed on there. My sister said you don't need any. I think she's lying. Put the peppers in there. Just like that? Yes. Oh. So what is this doing? We're just like cooking it? Like sauteing it? Grilling yes. it? Yes. You can also boil it if that's what you choose to do. But I feel like when you actually put it on top of like the grill type of thing, it gives it more flavor. True. It's kind of like chicken. When you boil chicken, it has no flavor. When you grill chicken, it has flavor. Mm. How do we know when it's ready? You keep like flipping it around here and there. Once it starts to get really dark, almost like roasted in a way where it looks almost black, tomatillos will start to get really juicy, very yeah. liquidy. That's when you know it's a good time. Okay, so we're gonna pour some water in here, you guys. How much water did you say? One cup, two cups, three cups, four cups. That's the first one. So four cups of water. Okay, then we're gonna boil the water. Did you open it? That's the one that we used before. We already had one? That was the one that we already had. So I didn't need the big one? Then why'd you make me get it? You grabbed it and you got so excited. Really? Add two tablespoons of this into that water. This is a tablespoon. So two of those? It'd be two, a teaspoon instead. So a teaspoon, not a tablespoon. So you lied. Sorry. Good to know. Now you grab uh, some tongs that you have over there and you just keep flipping it around. Make sure it doesn't stay on one spot. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult uh, cooking the tomatillos because they're very round. And, and would you suggest having cut them before? You can do that, but I feel like if you do cut them, it's gonna just kind of like water out, like water down. Oh, like the inside? Yes, because oh. the inside is very juicy. So it's very difficult to make Mexican dishes because a lot of times they kind of just eyeball it. Okay, so my sister's saying I gotta add more. So this is now three, four teaspoons. So now that this is sauteed, and this is boiling, we're gonna, we turn it off, just so it continues to cook a little, but we're gonna add the stuff into this little nugget. So I don't have a blender because I'm one person living in this house. So I have a magic bullet that I bought at Target for like 20 bucks and I still fucking live for it. And I make all my shakes in this. Ew, is this gonna smell like cilantro? Probably like a handful of cilantro, just that much. Literally just one handful. You wanna throw it in there. You wanna have a quarter of an onion. It's just garlic right here. <laughs> there we go. Half a teaspoon with liquid or no liquid? You can add liquid or without liquid. That's half a teaspoon. And then we're gonna plop them in. Are they all gonna fit? Let's hope so. Yes! Okay. And then you're gonna grab your little chicken broth moment. How much do I pour in there? She said up to like here. Yes. I don't know how much that is. Not too much. Probably a little bit more. That's hot. Close it. And then. Oh! <gasps> 
green salsa verde motherfuckers when it's warm, when it's this fresh. Oh, look at that, look how beautiful that looks. We're gonna do two batches just cause we want hella salsa. Let's test out your theory of, of can I cut that? I'm gonna try to do that to see if it'll make it go faster because you're a liar. Hi everyone. Are you tired of being invited to all those fucking potlucks and people are like, you're Latina, bring the salsa. We'll bring everything else. And you're like, I don't know how to make salsa. Well, I got you, girl. Because in this episode of Cooking with the Latina, I'm gonna show you how to make green salsa so you can bring it to all your white friends and your black friends and your Indian friends and your Asian friends' house. Bitch, bring it to them in a jar, okay? Oh my God, I need salsa just at home, just from my own garden. So you're gonna bring this to them and you're gonna be the Latina in your group, okay? Because since we don't we don't run in the same circles, I'm the Latina in my friends, okay? And you can be the Latina in your friend group, but if we ever run in the same circle, don't ever forget that I'm the Latina, okay? <laughs> we basically did the cut-up version. I told you you could do it. We're just gonna make some more. We're gonna mix it up. I don't think I'm gonna add more caldo because I want this to be chunkier because I want it to be thick. I love like a thick salsa. Let's do round two and chunk it up. So what do we need? We need a little handful of cilantro. This time we're just gonna do a quarter, I mean an eighth of an onion. Just maybe like a little bit of garlic, not too much garlic, right? That much? Just know that this is gonna make your place smell like salsa. So like if you wanna invite people over, today's the day to invite people over. They're gonna be like, wow, your place smells so good. And it's like, it's cause I'm Latina. Okay, just a little bit. My God, that smells so good. Mmm. I like the large chunks of cilantro because you can really like just see it in there. So I like the like, you don't have to blend it too much. Well, you know what we like a little chunky salsa. We love a little chunky salsa. I made salsa. I made salsa. Honestly, I should fucking start selling this salsa. Could you imagine? Okay, you guys, so we're making some tacos. So I hope you like this video. I hope y'all lived. I hope you end up making salsa verde in your own home because I live for a good salsa verde moment. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of a haul as to what I bought at the, at the, at the Latina grocery store, keep on watching and I'll show you a mini haul. Um, if not, then I love you guys. Shout out to my sister. Hi, sister. Hi. So we had the tortillas that we had, the handmade ones, and then we made some carne asada. And then all you do is you grab your salsa, right? Oh, oh, okay, there we go. You grab your little spoon. I already put a little bit of lime on it, and then... And it's good to go. Okay, you guys, now it's the end of the video and we're gonna do the Latina haul. But first, <laughs> hi everyone. So we're gonna do a Latina haul, but I'm gonna bring you up close. I got carne, um, what is this? Viste. Viste? Bolis, you need hella bolis. We're gonna put these in the freezer. I love bolis, especially when you snap them in half. We got some pan, some panecitos, and then we got some, oh my God, do you guys remember these? These are literally some of the best. My body doesn't digest them properly. Like it fucks my stomach up, so I only got four, but four will me up. I feel like this is more Bretman's brand, but I feel like every Latina eats Hawaiian sweet roll bread, so like, why not? Oh, I also got a fucking tortilla holder, bitch. Oh my God. If you don't have one of these and you like tortillas, you know your tortillas are getting cold fast, fast. Tenemos la costeña whole black beans. See, I told you, we should have gone Goya. We got some tostadas. We got calidad. Because this is the one my mom gets and she likes them because they're thin. My sister told me about it. I don't care. We got a lemon squeezer because... But this is for like the little limes. You know what I mean? Just like the little baby ones. This is for like those big old beefy like lemons. Yeah. Then we got some forks, some spoons, some like real Latina ones because... The ones from Target, I fucking hate them, dude. The Target ones, this is heavy. So when I put this on my plate, like let's say this is the plate and I have it like this, it always falls off because this is heavy. So la the Latina forks are just even. 
We got some tortillas. We got some handmade ones because my sister's like, they're so much better. And I'm like, okay, let's try it. We got some little jalapenos, la costeña, pero the nacho jalapenos because I watched this like Jenny and Annette's video where they made it nacho. And my mouth fills with saliva every single time I think about it. I didn't get any cheese or any chips, so. The f did I get nacho? Fucking <laughs> I'm a fucking mess, dude. Oh my god. Okay, we got some of this. It had two fires. Um, I think I'm gonna. Oh my god, my mouth is filling up with saliva. I want to put these on my hot Cheetos because it would sound amazing, right? We got some goya adobo, caldo de sabor de pollo. Nonetheless, you can never go wrong with tahini. And this is a low sodium one. If you get the blue one, because I eat this literally on my hand, I eat it all the time, and that's why I always look bloated. And I don't want to be bloated. You know what I mean? Oh, we got some sangria. Like, this reminds me of my childhood. This has no alcohol in it, but it tastes so bomb. Queso de quesadilla. Just quesadilla queso. I'm literally trying to find, like, quesadilla queso that's, like, lactose-free or, like, doesn't have lactose in it. If you know of any, leave it down in the comment section down below. But queso fresco has more of, like, a juice to it, so it's very fresh and it's very, like... Oh, my God, it's falling on saliva. Um, oh, my God. It's really good, really, really good. There's another one. You have to make sure that it's this one, this exact one. It has to say queso fresco. There's another one. It crumbles and it smells like feet and I fucking hate it. A plancha cuadrada de aluminio. <laughs> A coma. <laughs> A plancha cuadrada de aluminio. An aluminum square griddle for my tortillas and quesadillas because I was literally cooking it on this. We have some rice pudding with like cinnamon on top. I'm obsessed with these. My dad used to get them when we were younger and he only would get some for him and I would always steal them and he would get mad. We got La Morena pickled jalapeno. But I didn't get a thing to put the jalapenos in. La Morena, the caracol one. Is this caracol? The conchas. Conchas, shells, and then we got some alphabet. And then we have some candy. If you guys want like a candy haul, I'll be so down to like try just a bunch of Mexican candy and I'll tell you which one's good, which one's bad. So, oh! And then some gancitos! I like to put these in the fridge because I like my cold. And then some marucha! I bought a tortilla maker. So I can make tortillas. Shout out to y'all. I live for you. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Comments, questions, concerns down in the comment section down below. And if you're not already, make sure you subscribe. And until next time. Bye everyone, bye todos, hasta la próxima, hasta luego, bye everyone. Bye everyone! Let me see, put it on me.